3. Make something new. If you want to make your own creation from scratch, simply click New Creation and get making. So, let's make a push-up counter. We want it to count the number of push-ups we do. So first, let's add a text part. We need to make it nice and big. Next, create a variable for push-ups. No cheating now. Set that to zero. The motion sensor also has five zones of distance it can measure. Zone one is the furthest away, and zone five is the closest. We want to make sure we do really good push-ups, and we need to get right close to the ground. Grab the motion trigger block and set it to five. Next, let's make the number of push-ups variable increase by one every time there's a movement close to the sensor. We also need to make the text update every time we do a push-up. Let's set that to push-up variable. Every time we do a push-up, the number goes up too. Finally, we want to make an inspirational sound every time we get a push-up done. We need to tell people how well we're doing. Let's add a speaker part. And tell the speaker to play. An air horn every time we do a push-up. Let's try it out. You can save your clever creation by clicking the save icon. You'll find your new creation in my creations. You can also view other people's motion masterpieces in all creations. To play with them, simply click on one to open it and click Remix to change the code and make it your own. Here's a game of Flappy Bird someone has made. Let's see what happens if we change the background color. Nice. Now let's change the bird to a rocket. To make it a little more difficult, Let's change the gravity variable to minus 5. This makes the bird a bit heavier. Ah, flap, flap. Ah, game over. Again, you can save your awesome remix for the world to see and find it in my creations. Hey, nice, I leveled up. For more help, go to help.cano.me.